Welcome to lesson 8 of getting started with CADmaster software. Today we're going to go through and explore 3D rendering. So this one gets quite exciting. So here's my drawing. I'm just going to go straight to 3D to begin with down here. And from here you can see what the kitchen looks like. It's pretty boring at the moment to be honest. But you get a photo view. You've got this button right here. Photo view. Now, output folder. Output file name. Resolution. I don't go full resolution normally until I'm like to the very final one I want to do. Um, you go for you can go 800 by 600, you go any size you like, but the smaller you do it, the quicker it's going to be. Same as samples, doesn't matter what it is, the bigger the number, the better quality you're going to get. 50 is really good to begin with. Uh, when I'm doing a final one, I might do it at three, four, five hundred, something like that. That's about as good as you need to go. Denoising, denoising definitely needs to be on. Um, yep, this one needs to be on. Uh, cycles don't use EV. EV is a waste of time use cycles and this is the background color if you want whatever background color you want behind it all so instead of being white you can have any color you like um, just hit okay it's very quick especially at 50 samples um, the better video card you've got um, with CUDA cores the quicker it's going to go so this is going to take all of that nine or ten seconds so there you go so that's what it looks like it's quite bright at the moment but it's much cleaner than what we've got in this drawing here um, so it's very quick and easy to do that as well so it doesn't take hours this is a temporary file that's created you can quite happily get rid of that every time so no problem with that but it was a pretty boring picture to, picture to be honest so what we want to do just to show you how to finish things off very quickly I'm going to go to floor I can right click and go timber flooring um, I can just click here and I'm only holding the left mouse button down and you'll see that I can do it anywhere I want but it does snap to this point here as well so it's now nice and square I can then double click and see yep timber is there fantastic um, just to, for an example I'm actually going to grab this marker here and again watch what the mouse is doing I'm holding down shift so I can keep a straight line I can also grab this one and do the same thing I just want to stretch it out I want to do something slightly different in a minute um, from there I can go and put in some lights so I can go insert lights and again double click on here that's at three meters 80 percent brightness that sounds about right so I'm just going to go say one two three sounds good um, actually, I'm just going to put them in a lot more of a line. Here we go. Uh, and I want to add in a window. So I can go back to my library here. And, oh, there you go. So floor furnishings window. I can put in a window. So I can double click on this as well first. Go, yep, that's what that one there looks like. Um, there we go. Makes it look better outside. What size is the window? The height, the width, height of floor. Do something like that. Put it up to here. Um, now, Actually, what I'm going to do here, I'm going to show you two different things. I'm going to shrink this one back. What I'm going to do is go wall, um, insert a wall, and go from here. And I'm going to go 900, wall. Do you want to start a new wall? Yes, I do. I go from here to here. Now, what I've done then, reason being, is firstly, I need to make sure I've got the same color on all my walls, which I don't. It needs to be that one there, and that one there, same again, that one, that one. Make sure all my walls are the exactly the same colour. Yep, awesome. This one here, I'm going to go into the this one here. Now, if you don't have this wall tool, this is coming in the new build. So, I'm going to do that. So, I'm 1800 off the floor. So, if I quickly go to 3D, you'll see exactly what I've done. Is I put a wall through. Well, I'll put a doorway through the, the middle of the wall. So it looks like one wall, but it's actually three different walls now. You can actually do that, or you can actually go and grab a door. And say, so, yep, here's a door. And here. So I'm showing you both different options. If you use this one cut out, what you can actually do is insert a wall. You can actually go, yep, you can actually put a, you know, build the rest of the room and things like this around it. And you can change the texture of that to whatever you want to be. And then when you go to your 3D, you're actually looking at, the other room and you can put the floor out there as well so you can actually do it properly and I can even grab this floor here extend it out this way there you go so I can do that and actually take it past that one there up to there up to there then it'll actually look more realistic this one here I'll well bring it up to there so it sits behind the wall okay so and you can change the texture for this wall to be anything at all you like instead of being this texture you can go choose something else but I'll leave it that for, for now so that's how you can actually do cutouts in walls as well. Um, there's also in the first lesson one, it shows you how to actually do a cutout in a wall of one single wall. So I did the, the old fashioned cheat way. Um, you can actually do a cutout as well. So there's multiple ways to do it. The other thing you can do, design to go to, uh, there's all these things here. I want to go to 
kitchen furniture. Let's have a look at this. Let's go grab some. Oh, grab a yeah, one of those. That looks good. We put a table there. Um, yeah, let's put a couple of these around here. And again, the plus and minus on your keyboard will rotate your keys, your models. And little things make a big difference when you're going into 3D. So things like um, rotate this one a little bit. Just rotate a little bit. Just get something that's not perfectly symmetrical because it looks just just finishes it off quite nicely. Um, you can also go for oh, what have we got in here? Hmm. Apple bowl. There you go. You can put an apple bowl on the bench, corner of the bench. Um, you can add in. A, there's lots and lots of models in here. Um, so just little things like that um, makes it look a little bit more realistic. And it's only taken a couple of minutes. Go back to 3D, so you can see my look at that. My floor goes through to there. Um, I've got a nice window out there. Got my models in place. Now this is where, if it's a little bit stuttery, you can turn lights and models off. Like if you turn your lights and shadows off, it's much quicker to move around. Um, actually, I do have a different color wall there, don't I? Anyway, not going to bother me right now. I go to there, go to photo view. And just hit the OK button, and this will very quickly generate a new model, a new image. Sorry. And it specifies the size of the image we wanted to render, and it's where it's now cropping the sides of things off as well. So it's not the exact view you're looking at. There you go. So that's looking a whole lot better already. That looks much nicer in here. Um, so you're finishing off. So you've got this type of door. I can put a light out there as well if I like. So if I really want to just get this a little bit neater, maybe move these ones away, maybe put one over here, um, maybe one over there in that room as well. Let's see what it does if we did something like this. And then photo view again. <coughs> and this just literally creates a, a, a JPEG image. So once you've finished with that, you can email it to a customer, do whatever you want with it. Um, but this will give you a slightly different rendering these days. There you go. So you can see a bit more out there, a bit more realistic with the shadows. It looks much nicer now. Uh, you can see the shadows under the table. You can see on the floor. So that's looking pretty good. So this is the type of door. This is just an image. This is actually cut out, shows something else. So you can actually do things there. You can also do a cut out for the window or put a window on like that. So there's multiple ways you can do things. That's how you do a photo view. Little things make a massive difference to photo view. So adding in a table and chairs or a door or a window or something like that makes a big difference. So once you've done that, the next one you can do, a GLB. This one here, you just hit the OK button, save. This is actually going to output that same drawing as a GLB, which is a common uh, 3D model, uh, which now lets you open that up in um, one of the Windows viewers. So if I just go to my folder in here, I can go GLB, which I've just created, and it opens up in 3D view in Windows 10 or 11. This is what it looks like. So you can actually send this to your customers now. This is just a, a 3D model file which can be opened in Windows and you can change the environment. You can change a whole lot of things in here. What perspective do you want to view to? Um, you know, you can just press a button and do these sorts of things. That shows you what we've done at the back here though. Um, yeah, you can come in here, zoom in and out. So GLB is actually a really good, good type of file you can um, share around and it opens in Windows natively. So if you're using Windows, that would work quite happily. So that's GLBs. The last one I'm going to show you, which is actually really exciting, is walkthroughs. So once you've got your drawing set up and you're happy with all this, um, what you can do is you can go to right, walkthroughs here. But the first thing you want to do is go, how about this case? We're going to start over here somewhere. Let's do something. Again, you'd normally finish this up properly. It's just, just, just an example. So I can start, say, here, and let's go add camera. So it shows, it takes me to what I'm looking at. So I'm going to spin around over here. Go add camera and let's get one from say a top view or something like this add camera and then back to the overall back to finish like that add camera walk through animation so you just go add step I actually want four steps in this one so I'm just going to add four make it quick and easy so I'm going to start at camera number one then camera number two camera number three camera number four you can specify how long it takes to get to each next section, um, how long you dwell once you get to each point. Um, so, and you can loop it at the other end as well, so it keeps cycling through. 
again, what resolution do you want to see? What size do you want to see? 1020, uh, 1280 by 720 is good. 1024 by, you know, whatever you, whatever size you want it to be, you can do that as well. How many frames per second? Again, if you leave it on 24, it's going to be fine. Do you want to add a soundtrack file? You can literally add audio to it as well. Um, and then this is the output file name. And there's two different types of render. This is normal cab master render. So it's going to give you a quality of what you're seeing here. This is a photo view render. This would be much, much cleaner render. But it took us, was it 10 seconds, 20 seconds, whatever it was to produce those other image, images before. It's going to do 24 of those for each second of running. And this one here, we're going to, it's going to take three seconds. So there's 12 plus half a second. So there's 14 seconds of set, um, camera time here at 24 frames a second. So it's 14 times 24 times however long it takes to render each one. It does take much longer, but you get a really, really nice quality walkthrough. Um, most of the walkthroughs will be fine with a normal renderer. But if you want something absolutely spot on, hit the button, go get yourself a cup of coffee. So this one here, if you do the normal rendering, you'll see what it's actually doing. Um, I'm going to speed this up in a minute because it's, well, I possibly don't need to. I can talk my way through this one. So this is at real time, not being sped up. I'm talking through it. You can see it's going between the points. So there's camera two. And it's going to get up to the top, up to camera three. Again, it's a quality we're seeing, so it's not too bad. Um, but the photo view is obviously much, much better. Uh, again, depends what you want to do. Again, the back wall, you would normally set that up a little bit neater. You put the right color walls in there. You put images on the walls. You can do all those sorts of things as well. And back to the start. Now it's just going to get back to the looping. Oh, it goes back to the very first point. That's right. It goes back to camera one for the loop. Now in the data folder, so where you save your drawings, it will generate that file. And it's just done it right here. So there's my walkthrough. So I can run this one now. And you can see how it does that one much, much smoother now. And again, it's taking three seconds between each one. So it's set very specifically for the time, the time it takes. If you want something a little bit slower, a little bit quicker, change the times. But there it is. So there's your full walkthrough. You can so that's and delete temporary files always say yes you don't need to keep those temporary files unless you've got a something you're trying to um, do a bug report or something like that or you want to speak to support about something you can actually keep the temporary files and we can see exactly what's happening as we go uh, but other than that they're not generally needed so there's your photo view GLB walkthrough animation um, you can add cameras in any way you want um, one of the other things I haven't shown you with cameras which I'm just going to quickly show you now if I go back to plan view um, I'm just going to delete all this for now just because it's easier to show you what's going on. Just delete, delete, delete. Um, once you've been to your cameras, you can actually go, let's choose a camera, which one we're looking at. So camera one, place camera view, drag a box, and it'll actually put that camera view on your screen for you. And that is also a live view. So if I was to go do something a little bit silly and pull that cabinet there out, that there, will will move that cabinet with it. So you see the cabinet moving there. So it's a little bit of a dwell as it refreshes. There you go. So that's a live camera view in 3D as well. So you've got a lot of control and you can put all your different cameras. So I want to go, uh, let's have a look at uh, camera three, place camera view, drag a box, and it'll now place camera three there as well. So again, that's another live view. So you can do that quite comfortably of what views do you want in here as well. Um, again, wheel, wheel mouse, center the page again. So there's how you can do 3D views, walkthrough animations, GLBs for customers, uh, and putting 3D live 3D views on your drawing page. So hopefully this lets you finish off how to do drawing with CabMaster software. Um, hopefully it's all been informative for you. Um, thank you very much for watching.